Kendall, um, Leonard just talked a little bit about it, but tell us a little bit about why you guys are out here and what you're trying to get out of this experience at this camp. Um, because I mean, when we was younger, somebody did it for us, and uh, it's always good to you know go out and give back and try to impute knowledge that you've learned and and your um and your experience and being that I'm an older player, I can come back and it's, it's good to come back and you know give some knowledge to the younger guys that's coming up and trying to do what I've done. As a quote-unquote older player, like you just said, <laughs> um, not, I know what you mean, but um, a little bit about this season, you know, new defensive coordinator. Talk about this season and your expectations as a older player. Oh, uh, well, I feel like our defense, uh, I know LSU's had some great defenses in the past, but I feel like our defense this year can be as uh, special as, they, as we want to be. Uh, we have some great athletes, great competitors. And as far as new coaches, um, it's probably been the easiest coaching change I, I probably would ever experience because I mean, Coach Coach Steele, he's came in, he's done it. We've, we've all worked well together. It's like we just click together, you know. Uh, and he's make sure he understands the, the the terminology and the, whatever he's trying to put in or, or do with us. So uh, it's been a real easy coaching change. When people say, you know, you guys have a really strong defense and all the pieces are there on both sides of the ball, except. There's still a question mark at quarterback. What do you guys say when you hear stuff like that? Uh, I, I, you know what? I feel comfortable. I feel uh, comf I'm confident in both of those guys. I mean, I've seen them improve. I see them going out and putting work in, and you know, doing what it takes to you know be a, a great, a good quarterback. You know, so um, I'm pretty comfortable with those guys. And as a defense, we we just look at it like we uh we have to handle our, our business and you know have those guys back. You know, as a defense, and the ultimate goal is to not let people score on us. So. That's our goal, going out uh, every series, every snap. We, we don't want to give up a big player, let anyone score on us, so and get, a, get the ball to the offense. The linebackers unit as a whole, you guys lost, lost Clifton Garrett. He transferred, and LSU hasn't really had a linebacker uh, prospect in the last couple of years. Just talk about the linebacker unit as a whole and just your thoughts on how strong it may or may not be. Oh, uh, well, you know, it's um, – it's, it's pretty strong. I think it's still, still pretty strong, even with the guys we have. Uh, we have guys like Deion Jones and Lamar Lewis playing on – I have guys like Lamar Lewis and Deion Jones playing on the side of me. And you got guys like Duke Riley, Ronnie Feast, and uh, Donnie Alexander backing us up. I mean, I mean, I think we, pre we, still, have, we still have a pretty strong core, even though we haven't had any uh, prospects coming in. Came in. In making that transition, you basically were a defensive end, quarterback in high school, playing that middle linebacker position. For people making that transition, don't realize how difficult that is. Kind of give an explanation on that. Well, you know, I, um, I mean, it was linebacker is something I always wanted to do. Therefore, I worked, I worked extra hard at it to uh, become good at it. So, uh, being that that's the position I always wanted to play, and um, it's a big transition. You know, you. It's just something you have to work at. You have to work at it and have to try to continue to get better at it and continue to get better at it. And it was hard for me at first It because it's different. You know, I went from being on having my hand down almost about 80% of the time in high school to standing up and trying to read blocks and read running backs and read keys. And it was different, but, you know, it's, I got used to it pretty quickly. And, you know, it was, it's, it's okay. Mid-season last year, something clicked with you. Everything started to hit. What was that like? Almost like the light turned on that oh, yeah, yeah. not making those mental mistakes, being in the right spot, getting into all, all those tackles. Uh, well, I mean, it's just all about timing, you know. Uh, I wasn't, I wasn't like you say, it, it really started to click for me when I started, when I be, uh, began to start and, you know, really, really started to play. Uh, it took me some time to get, you know, learn the defense and, you know, really understand, the, understand how to apply the concepts and things that we were trying to do as a defense. Uh, once I once I learned that and once I you know settled down, I mean I started to get comfortable back there and I, I mean I, things started to work out for me. The pass coverage part of the game that's something you've worked on quite a bit this off season. Oh yeah, definitely. I, uh, I go out and I do uh, drills with the DBs on Saturdays. <laughs> so uh, I'm trying to have I'm trying to you know trying to get much, trying to get better in the passing game. One of the guys I grew up with, he doesn't coach your position, but I know you hear him, Ed Ogeron. Oh yeah. Give us a little comments on Bebe. <laughs> oh, he's he's a character. Uh, um, yeah, I can tell you grew up with him because I mean that's the only way I think somebody someone could uh, uh you've been great good friends with him. But I feel like that's the only way somebody can uh mark mark his voice. I mean that, that voice is just that voice to get you every time, man. I it kind of caught me off guard when I first met him. You know I was like I 
how like, he can't possibly talk like this, you know, 100% of the time. But it's really his voice, you know, and it's. But uh, he's a he's a great man. He's been more like a, a mentor to me. You know, he always pulls me pulls me to the side and like, man, what you what you did today? How you feel like you did and what you need to work on? Things like that. You know, he's always trying to coach me up and help me out if he can. One of the things, pers- just from a scout watching you, I'd love to see you do more rushing the quarterback. Is yeah, that everybody you likes to see. Like to see you do yeah, that yeah, he do, he do. Uh, <laughs> not, not to break any secrets. Oh no, 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 but but, yeah, like but uh, everyone like likes to see me rush the quarterback. Being a, I mean, being being a defensive end is it's kind of natural to me because I've been playing it for almost all my life. Therefore, uh, everyone likes to see me uh, rush the quarterback. All right, thanks for your time. Oh yeah, he.